Longtime friend of President Donald Trump, David Pecker, who's the publisher of the National Enquirer, helped Trump lawyer Michael Cohn bury negative stories about Trump back in 2016. Pecker later agreed to help federal prosecutors investigating alleged violations of campaign finance laws. Pecker is making headlines again, this time involving allegations made by the world's richest man, Jeff Bezos, who Trump frequently targets on Twitter. Here's the story of how Pecker met Trump and became embroiled in controversies involving the president. Pecker's relationship with Trump goes back decades. In the late 90s, he published a quarterly magazine called Trump Style, distributed at Trump Properties. In 1999, he arrived at American Media, which publishes the National Enquirer and other titles like Us Weekly, In Touch, and Men's Journal. When Trump announced he was creating an exploratory committee for the 2000 presidential race on the Reform Party ticket, the polls had been unbelievable. One of Pecker's magazines ran a glowing profile of him. Trump didn't launch a campaign, but soon after, he did launch a popular TV show. The Apprentice. And throughout the 2000s, especially when Celebrity Apprentice took off, she a leader. tips about Trump poured into the National Enquirer. But according to former AMI employees, the magazine turned away stories that would paint Trump in a bad light. Pecker's Enquirer continued covering Trump positively after he launched in 2015 his presidential campaign. And the Enquirer endorsed Trump for president in 2016 the first time it had ever officially backed a candidate. Nearly a third of the National Enquirer's 122 covers since the beginning of 2016 featured Trump or an attack on one of his opponents. It is a tabloid smear, and it is a smear that has come from Donald Trump and his henchmen. According to prosecutors, Pecker did more than just print stories to help his friend. In August 2015, shortly after Trump announced he'd run for president, Pecker offered to help Cohn head off negative stories about Trump's relationships with women and arranged to purchase the rights but never publish the stories. This is a practice known in tabloid media as catch and kill. As the journal has reported, he followed through on at least two occasions when former Playboy model Karen McDougal was planning to speak out about her alleged affair with Trump. Pecker's company bought the exclusive rights to her story, but never ran it. And when porn actress Stormy Daniels was shopping her story about an alleged sexual encounter with Trump, Pecker alerted Cohn, and Cohn ultimately paid her for her silence. Trump has denied having an affair with either woman. After the election, the payments became the subject of a federal investigation. Last August, in exchange for immunity, Pecker met with prosecutors and shared details about payments he and Cohn arranged. Those details included Trump's alleged knowledge of the payment schemes. Then for Pecker, another controversy bubbled up. At the beginning of 2019, Jeff Bezos, the CEO of Amazon, announced he and his wife of 25 years were divorcing. Shortly afterward, the Enquirer published a story exposing Bezos' affair with former TV anchor Lauren Sanchez. It included intimate text messages the couple exchanged. On Twitter, Trump appeared to cheer the coverage. After that article, Bezos says he hired a private investigation team to try to learn how the Enquirer obtained those text messages. Then on February 7th, the Amazon chief delivered a bombshell accusation, alleging that in his words, Pecker was trying to blackmail him. He also accused Pecker of using American media for political purposes, a claim Pecker has denied. Bezos quoted in a blog post an email he said came from Pecker's colleague in which he threatened to publish intimate photos of Bezos and Sanchez, unless Bezos released a statement saying he had no knowledge or basis for suggesting that AMI's coverage was politically motivated or influenced by political forces. The next day, AMI released a statement saying the company believes fervently that it acted lawfully in the reporting of the story of Mr. Bezos, but in light of the nature of the allegations by Mr. Bezos, the board has convened and determined that it should promptly and thoroughly investigate the claims. The statement ends, upon completion of that investigation, the board will take whatever appropriate action is necessary.